how do we identify high potential employees? The nine box grid is a popular tool used by companies all over the country. It is a three by three matrix, so nine boxes, that allows organizations to compare employees across the organization or within a specific department, division, or team. The comparisons are usually done by managers who have periodic discussions about succession planning throughout the year. Employees are typically rated across two dimensions, their current job performance and their potential for the future, their promotability. Ratings can be tracked and assessed with technology. There are three main categories or boxes of employees that should be targeted for leadership positions and the development opportunities that go along with those positions. Stars, rising stars, and high performers. I'll explain in more detail on the next slide. Here is what a nine box grid looks like. You can also find this example on the Canvas page. Along the vertical axis, we have employees potential or promotability. Along the horizontal axis at the bottom of the graphic, we have employees current job performance. Keep in mind that the labels assigned to the nine boxes will vary depending on who creates the nine box grid. In this graphic, the dark green and two light green boxes denote employees who are ready for development opportunities or for promotion to leadership positions. In the dark green box, we have the stars, the high performing, high potential employees who show up every day and go above and beyond their job descriptions. In the light green boxes, we have rising stars who have high potential but moderate performance. And then in the other light green box, we have high performers who have some improvements to make in their promotability, but they do their job and they do it well. Employees in the yellow boxes should be monitored for improvements in their performance, in their promotability, and invited to development opportunities next. Employees in the orange boxes should be closely monitored for improvements. Some of them may not make it. Some of them may need to be transferred, demoted, or terminated. For those that do show performance improvement, it might be a while before development opportunities are offered. And finally, employees in the red box need to be closely monitored for improvements. And last on the list for development opportunities, they may be the first on the termination list. And keep in mind, we're talking about performance over an extended period of time. If you have employees who are just not making the necessary strides to improve in any way, this organization, this job may not be the right fit for them. 